that since our universe can be thought of like a rubber band with pressure acting outwards, that there will be a big rip due to the pressure acting on two sides of the universe. So you're saying that space and, and space-time is like a rubber band? It can stretch? And... Well, yeah, that's true. It can also be thought of like a fabric. However, those the things are not completely accurate. Those analogies are definitely not completely accurate because space-time, at least in the way we can observe it, is closer to a three-dimensional thing. So as a three-dimensional analogy, imagine something pulling on something from the inside. So I will try to illustrate this. Wish me luck. And so there is something being held on on the inside. Uh, and I don't, uh, I don't really believe that space and time itself can be thought of in like a bunch of rubber bands, but I feel like it's an analogy for the universe. So the universe is kind of like a rubber band being pulled on from all sides. And that's what's causing it to expand. And so this, uh, this pressure is like an outward pressure, analogous to the one that's being pulled on a rubber band. So now, space-time is more like, a, let's say, a bunch of foam or a mattress. And uh, let's say that hypothetically, you uh, you climbed inside a mattress and pulled on it, and so you would pull on it from the inside and it would make this sort of cavity, and that's what space-time is like. Wow, okay. Um, so this, this expansion of, of the universe, um, so it's a competition, is, is that right? Because gravity, is, as you were describing, would make stars come together and would make the universe collapse. So something must be pushing the universe apart. What, what is that something? So that's the outward pressure that I described before. We are not exactly sure why it's happening, but it's happening. And there's an equation to, uh, to describe how the magnitude of this pressure exactly. And there is a bit of gravitational force but gravitation is not uh, is uh, the weakest force of all four fundamental forces, and so it's barely uh, it's barely uh, um, winning. It's losing the fight, and pressure is the thing that's making this universe expand. Oh, and can we measure that pressure? Do we know how big the pressure is? So there is an equation for it that says that the pressure is basically one half times the partial derivative, I believe this is how you write it, the partial derivative of the inflation field, which is basically how much this is inflating. It can be thought of as an analogy like temperature. Temperature is a scalar field, but you can measure it at all points. So in the universe, the inflation field, which is somewhat related to the scale acceleration of the scale factor, you divide it by the uh, um, oh, sorry, over time, um, and then you add that, I mean subtract that, um, you subtract the uh, potential energy function, I will write potential energy as you, because it's just weird to see, uh, it's just weird to see something like this. It's just better to reduce it to one letter for me, mm -hmm. and so you of, say, the inflation field at any one time. An inflation field not, I would call it. And so this is what we know to be the pressure. The energy density is very similar. Um, the energy density, which we represent with rho, basically all densities are represented with rho, and I'm not sure why. So the energy density is the almost the exact same thing. However, you, you, instead of subtracting that potential energy, you add it because it's energy. Uh -huh. So that, yeah, or those are the two equations. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science. Brought to you by Brilliant.org. Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science.